Good morning and welcome to May, I think it's May 8th, the International Women's Day. Now they tell you to wait a couple minutes to build an audience, but I always feel odd just kind of standing here talking about really nothing. But you know, what can I say? I kind of titled this International Day of Women's, Are You Kidding Me? And there's a reason for that. And it really is, are you kidding me? We have an International Day of Women's Day. We have marches still. You know, I'm older. I thought this would all be resolved back in the 70s. I really was, I was such a Pollyanna that I believed that in the 70s we'd have equal pay, equal rights, equal everything. Everything would be great for us. And then here we stand in the 2017 and not so much. If anything, I feel like as women we're stepping back. We're, we're getting less instead of the more that I thought we would have. And it amazes me because you know, we're half the population at least. So we should be, have everything that we want. We should have the equal pay, the equal rights, equal everything, but we don't. And it, and it just drives me crazy. I remember back, you know, when I was in the military back in the seventies, I had this one Sergeant, Sergeant Golden. If you're watching a Sergeant Golden and he called me in his office and he was not, I mean, he was a big man. And I mean, big isn't big, not big isn't tall. And he called me and he's like, you know, I can help further your career if you know what I'm saying. You want to go out for drinks? And I'm like, no. Because first of all, I knew I was never going to stay in the military because it did not fit my personality. Too many rules. I'm more, rules to me are more of guidelines than black and white. But I thought, you know, I walked away and I was so indignant. I told everybody, can you believe this guy? We're going to take over the world one day and these type of guys won't be around. Surprise, they're still here. Hell, we elected a guy that that denigrates women all day long. We, we have not moved past that. As women, we haven't necessarily stood up into our power. I mean, segments do, but the rest don't. And I, and I don't understand because I am all about women empowerment. I believe as women, there's nothing we can't do. There's no job we can't do. I mean, look at the big, um, the movie Hidden Figures. It's blowing away box office box offices because it's, it's women empowerment and women are going like crazy to it because we're standing in our power. But then we leave the movie and we're like, yeah, yeah, we can do anything. We can become mathematicians. Not so much me. We can become mathematicians. We can do this. We can do that. But then we kind of back off because we get the messaging that, you know, you're not good enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not thin enough. You're not this enough or that enough. And we back off. We get scared. We can't. To have the life you want to have, you've got to stand up and reclaim your power. And if it takes an International Women's Day to do that, to encourage women to stand in their power, to understand who you are, to understand what you want and be willing to go after it. Sure, people are going to tell you you can't. I've been told I can't my whole life. I've been told I can't since I had a speech impediment. I've been beat down for years. But at some point, you got to stand up and brush yourself off and say, you know what? This is my life. I'll take it from here. You guys did what you did. As I told my parents when I left, the, I left at 18, I was sitting in a Pittsburgh airport, getting ready to fly to um, San Antonio, Texas, to Laughlin Air Base. I looked at my parents and said, you know, I love you guys and you did the best you could. But I'm 18 now and I've got it from here. Anything that's good, I take credit for and anything bad, I take credit. And when I was homeless, I took, I took credit for it. And when I boomed, I took credit for it because it was my life. This is your life. Make every day Women Empowerment Day. Make every day your day. Get up every morning and say, this is your day to stand in your power. This is your day to be you. Accept your responsibility. Stop waiting for somebody to give you approval because it's not going to happen. Stop waiting for somebody to say you're good enough. Because it's not going to happen. Because if that person says you're good enough, there's going to be 10 other people over here saying, no, not so much. You've got to stand up and rise up in you. You've got to believe in you. Because nobody else is going to. And somebody just walked into my office. So stand in your power. Understand that today is Sunday. <laughs> understand that today, this is live. Understand that today is the day <laughs> that you're going to. <laughs> I am so sorry. Stop it. I am so sorry. This is my wacky team I have. Understand that today's your day. 
and that you've got this. And I apologize for that. Let me shut the door. <laughs> this is what happens when you try to do this while you're at work on your break. Today's your day. Make it your day. Make it special. Take time to laugh. Take time to allow people around you to do goofy things. In my workplace, it is goofy because that's what I want. That's the type of person that I hire. I want people to understand to be fun, but, and I want people to be comfortable with who they are. And they, and they stand in that power. I'm sorry. So I'm back. So stand in your power. Be who you're meant to be. Embrace you. Stop asking for approval. Start look, stop looking for approval. Stop hoping the world's going to send you that magical message to tell you you're awesome. Because you're awesome. Everybody on this planet's awesome. So make every day your day Women's Day. And I'm sorry for the little breaks, but at least you hopefully put a smile on your face. Talk to you guys later. I'm Karen Barno. Again, I put a little plea out to you. I'm trying to build my YouTube um, page to make my link pretty. I call it the Make My Link Pretty campaign. Jump over to YouTube and, and give me a, a subscribe. And that way when you're on Facebook, you'll know I'm on. Talk to you guys later. Stand in your power. Be the you you know you are. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.